Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to update the Ledger Nano S to the latest firmware. So let's get going. Okay, so this one's going to be short and sweet. I'm just going to show you how to update your Ledger Nano S to the latest version of the firmware, which at this point is version 1.4. So uh, the first thing we need to check is what version of the firmware that we're running on our Ledger Nano S. So the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your Ledger Nano S to your computer with the provided cable. And the first thing it's going to want you to do is enter your PIN code. Let's take care of that. Okay, and after you enter the pin code, you should be at the uh, home screen. All right, so all we're gonna need to do is go into settings. So we'll navigate with our buttons. We'll move over here to the settings. We'll click both buttons. And then we're gonna scroll down to uh, device and then uh, hit both buttons again. And then uh, where it says firmware, we're just gonna hit both buttons again. And as you can see, I'm running version 1.3.1 of the firmware, so I need to run the update. I noticed this this morning, and I thought as long as I'm uh, doing the update, I'll uh, do a video so you guys can follow along. Now, uh, let's move over here to the screen. Uh, one thing you need to keep in mind, if you are running a version of the firmware that is less than 1.3, if you'll notice, I was running version 1.3.1, but if you're running anything less than that, uh, a two point something or a one point something, then when you run this update, it is going to restore the entire Ledger Nano S. And uh, that's not a big deal uh, if you have your backup seed uh, copied down and in a safe place and you have access to it. So you'll wanna make sure that you have your 24 word recovery phrase handy uh, in in case of this. In fact, it's probably a good idea to have it handy uh, even if you are, are running version 1.3 or higher just in case something happens. So uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I encourage you to watch uh, this other video. I'm going to uh, give you uh, a little card up there in the top corner which will show you, uh, uh, direct you to uh, an earlier video I made where I explain exactly what the 24-word uh, recovery phrase is. Uh, in fact, I have another video on how to set up the Ledger Nano where we uh, go through the process of filling out the 24-word recovery phrase. So please, uh, don't go through this unless you have that phrase handy and are able to use it. So, without further ado, uh, we just scroll down here uh, to the step-by-step -step recovery. Uh, or our step-by-step -step update process. Now, if you're just starting with the Ledger Nano, they do give you some instructions here on how to enter recovery mode uh, so that you can do this firmware update before you uh, do anything else. And you're welcome to go through that. That's fairly straightforward. Um, it, it just involves uh, holding down uh, one of the buttons for five seconds that takes you into recovery mode. But for those of us who already have our ledger set up, which is probably most of us, uh, we'll just go through that pin. We enter our pin, and then we're gonna wanna launch Ledger Manager. So uh, we need to go over here. If, uh, you know, right now the Ledger Nano uh, apps are all Chrome apps. Uh, I've heard that they're planning on making some standalone apps uh, down the road, but uh, at this point they're all Chrome apps. So you will need to be running your Chrome browser and you will need to have downloaded all of these apps. Uh, I have another great video where I explain how that, uh, through that whole process. Uh, so uh, Ledger, Ledger Manager is the app that we're going to use if you don't have it. If you don't have a copy of Ledger Manager, you can uh, go over here to the apps page and just take care of it. Just download Ledger Manager and so you'll have it as one of your Chrome apps. So I've got that already. We'll just go over here to Chrome Manager.
and you'll see it uh, launches. Okay, so let's attempt this. Uh, <laughs> it looks kind of scary, but I'll, uh, I'm, I'm going to be here with you, so let's walk through it. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave this window open, and let's go over here to Ledger Manager. And we're going to uh, go over here to firmway, Firmware. Firmwares. Okay. And uh, so uh, I've got the version 1.4.1 ready to roll. And so I'm going to click the uh, install. Okay, so I'm just going to click the install here. Let this thing go. Now you'll notice that uh, it wants to confirm. So I'm going to click the uh, check. Okay, so uh, I did get that error message. So I'm going to need to uninstall some of the uh, Ledger Nano apps. So uh, that's not too difficult. Let's go back over here to applications. And uh, let's check to see what I've got on here. So let's see, uh, I could probably take Ripple. Yeah, you're not gonna lose any of your coins, uh, but I'm just gonna try to take the Ripple off and see if that frees up enough space. Oh. Okay, um, it's probably not going to uh, give me a uh, confirmation on that one because I just confirmed. Okay, and we can confirm that the ripple has been removed. All right, so that wasn't enough. So we're going to have to take off something else. So let's take off Stellar. Okay, confirm that it's on. We're going to go over here to our app. Let's go down here to Stellar. And we'll remove that. We might as well just remove Litecoin while we're at it because we'll be able to get all these back when we're done. In fact, part of the uh, idea of this uh, firmware is it's going to allow more apps to run at the same time, which is uh, a very nice thing. All right, so let's try again. Hopefully now we've given it enough room to do its thing. Let's hit install. Okay, now I can see a little bit of processing going on here. And it wants me to confirm the update. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it wants my pin code. Okay, so uh, I entered the pin, and uh, I've got this message that the uh, firmware is updated, or outdated, pardon me. All right, so we get to this point where it says the firmware is outdated, and it wants us to unplug and replug while holding the left button. So uh, from what I can see, the left button is the button closest to the connector. Uh, and if I'm oriented looking directly at it. So that is the button that I'm going to hold. That would be this button here. I'm going to hold that button down. And then I should see the bootloader. Alrighty. So unplug and replug while holding it down. So I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to unplug. And then I'm going to plug it back in while continuing to hold the button. There we go. Now I see that bootloader. Okay. Let's go back here. All right. So we see that. Uh, so all kinds of crazy things are happening on the computer. Uh, I'm just getting uh, USB messages that it's telling me that... Uh, so we get processing on the ledger, we see updating firmware on the uh, 
ledger manager app over here and we're just going to allow that to occur not get this message here ah okay now we're back to the pin uh let's enter our pin and it takes us back uh, to the settings where we were before and I guess it wants me to check my settings at this point okay so uh, I was checking the settings the last time I had this thing on so it's taken me back to this in fact as you can see all of the apps are gone uh, but not to worry all of the private keys are still on this device so uh, let's hit both buttons we'll go into settings and we'll go down here to device and let's uh, we're on firmware so let's hit that and there we go now uh, we can see that we've completely updated the ledger to uh, the latest version of the firmware all right so now that we've done that let's go ahead and get ourselves out of this uh, settings app and let's reinstall the apps that we need so uh, I'll start with Bitcoin. Uh, does it want me to install or reinstall your own applications and use your go to the applications? Okay, so it doesn't want me to uh, reboot uh, or anything like that. I think we're good to reinstall. So uh, don't panic uh, just because it's empty. Uh, we've had the Ledger Nano uh, Manager app open while we did this. So um, let's just go and reinstall. So I'll start with Bitcoin. Ah, it's probably wanting me to confirm. All right, here we go. So it wants me to confirm. I will confirm. And let it do its thing. See it's processing up here. And there we go. See, now we've got the Bitcoin. That's all well and good. So in your case, uh, let's just put on the ones that uh, you may need. In my case, um, I had like some Litecoin on there. I'll put Litecoin. I'll put the Litecoin on there. And it just magically appeared, right? No biggie. All right. And just go through and uh, put the ones on there that you think you need. Anything that you may have some uh, coin. Uh, I'll put Stellar back on there. Because of this firmware update, the uh, it's able to hold much more uh, apps than it did before. Uh, I believe the uh, website said 18. I don't know if it's ah here we are. The number of apps which can be loaded onto the Nano S at the same time can be raised up to 18, depending on the cryptocurrencies. Some of the apps are larger than others, so it just depends on which uh, cryptocurrencies you uh, need support for. So uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and put BERT coin on here. And I'll go ahead and put the ripple back on there. <laughs> and there we go. Now you can see over here that I've got uh, all of my apps have been restored. Okay, so, and if you're wondering, uh, did I lose any crypto while these apps were uninstalled? So uh, let's check, let's see uh, what, what we've got. Um, first, we need to close this app manager and switch over to one of the uh, apps. Let's check our Bitcoin. You'll need to be in the Bitcoin app itself. So we hit that. So you can see when you launch the, wallet, the Bitcoin wallet app, you're going to need to be uh, inside Bitcoin on the ledger. Uh, so we uh, choose Bitcoin here on the ledger screen. We hit both buttons and you'll notice now that the, the wallet app opens. All right. And then we can go in there and check our balance. I've got some uh, Bitcoin in the SegWit address. 
and there you go so uh, you can see that uh, my Bitcoin is safe and sound and uh, my list of transactions is also still in there so uh, we're all good to go and uh, all of your other cryptocurrencies should be the same uh, just go check the balance like you did before and uh, everything should be safe and sound if for some reason uh, things are, are weird uh, you can just do the recovery uh, restore from your 24 word uh, backup phrase and uh, I've got a great video on how that's done step by step so uh, don't panic guys uh, just take it step by step and everything will be fine so I hope you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you like the video uh, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel I would appreciate it uh, if you check down below me uh, I've got some links to some basic uh, newcomer videos and uh, which you might find useful and if you check the other corner I've got a link to uh, one of my more recent videos for experts and then uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like my content when you subscribe there's a bell next to the subscribe button which will allow you to be alerted whenever I post a new video once again thanks for joining me